Hi guys, it's Emmy Lou. I'm going to be teaching you today how to draw a sea turtle. Uh, Tegan from one of my classes asked me, so hi Tegan. Um, we're going to draw a sea turtle right now, so let's go. We need a pencil, which I've lost. I've lost! I've, um, well, let's, let's start and then I'll explain later on. So you need a pencil, a pa paper pencil, um, we need some chalk pastels. Be kind of cool if you have some chalk pastels. If you don't have some chalk pastels, you could maybe use watercolour pencil or just normal colour pencils, or you keep it so it's not even, you don't even colour it in. Okay, so let's go. Off we go. So we're going to start off with quite a strange shape that looks like a rainbow, but it's going down one side. Um, so a wonky rainbow, if you like, kind of a... A wobbly rainbow um, and then you're going to do next to it you're going to touch that bit here and you're going to go Ooh so it's like another rainbow um, but really straight a straight rainbow um, so that will be cool then from here you're gonna go oh. it's it's like um it's like like a line, <laughs> it's like a line. So just try and copy that if you can. If you can't copy that, just remember it was like a weird, a weird strange uh, rainbow. And then you've got the little line that looks a bit like a wonky rainbow. And then you've got something that looks a little bit like um, a wobbly line. And then you're gonna go da da dee, probably to about there. They'll be fine. Um, and then once you've done that, we're going to do the head, because the head's really cool. We're going to do, you're going to do a big eye, which goes about here. You're going to go, Rah. so it's like his little eye. It always reminds me of um, a sweet. I don't know why, but everything to me is food. So yeah, and then we're going to go, and then, la, la, la. Because he's always quite wrinkly, or she is quite wrinkly. Um, then we're going to do a mouth. So you're going to just touch that bit there, just there. And you're going to go, Wee! Happy turtle. Happy turtle. And then the nose is quite tricky because it could sometimes look quite strange. So if we just do a line here, and then a line down. Might look really weird, do not worry. And then you've got a little nostril. Like the two little nostrils, a bit like that should be cool. I think I drew it slightly differently on the other one. But something like that's fine. Might look a bit strange there. So a little bit like that. Then we're going to do like the rest of the turtle. Uh, this is going to be black inside there, so don't worry. Right, we're going to draw the rest of the shell. So touch this bit here, and you're going to go... Till you get to there. So until your parallel was there would be kind of cool. And then you're going to go up, up and away. Just up a little bit more till it gets smaller. It's going to get a little bit smaller there. And then you're going to make a fin. Um, or an arm if you like. That's my arm. And then we're going to go... So just like a U-shape. Like a U-shape just going up. And then you're going to make it a little bit rounded. A little bit rounded. And then you're going to go... So just down, think about bananas, anything food always helps. And then you can make this like a little bit like a rainbow. Everything's rainbows and foods today. And then we're going to make this look a little bit like it's 3D. So we're just going to give it an urge. Like that. I've actually not allowed to be in my parents' room upstairs because I dropped pasta all over the floor in the video of the plane. So my mum said, you have to come down the stairs and do it here. So I've kind of crammed myself in to a little part of the room. So hopefully you can see on this video, because if not, I'm going to have to find somewhere else to do it. Uh, but I got really told off for that. So don't drop pastel on the floor. Okay, and now you're going to touch this bit here and go... Yum. Then you're going to leave a gap and draw... Shoo, shoo, draw something that looks like... Everything looks like a line. a line. Then you're gonna do this. This is a really big fin or a really big arm. It's what he, they're really powerful to swim with. So you're gonna go up, 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 up. 
make it rounded again, like you did with that one. And then you're gonna go, just like maybe halfway. He looks like he's got a bit of a small fin, but that is fine. I don't know if they're called fins, but they're like flippers. And then, just join it up. So a little bit like it's going like a rainbow again, because we all love rainbows. Rainbows have the answer. I think something like that. Okay, so we're gonna go, no, this is to make it 3D, so three dimensional. I'm just gonna get my trusty pastel, which I'm gonna try not to drop because life will not be great if I do. And then we're gonna rub out this line. Rub away. So rub out that line, but you still keep these. But I can't go over them because I'm gonna get really, Okay, right, nearly, we're nearly, we're nearly finished. Okay, we're gonna go join that up. Then somewhere here, you're gonna go rainbow, upside down rainbow. So wee, it's a wonky line. So it's rainbow, you, rainbow. Then we're gonna do the other fin and a little bit more of the, of the, and he said monkey. Doesn't look like a monkey. Just touch this bit of fin there and go, because the body of the turtle is quite chunky and we're going to do another fin. So the fin goes about there. Think about like a weird triangle almost. And then think about a wobbly, it's like a triangle but it's not. There he's little leggies, his little legs. And you can rub out this one and probably rub out these. So you're rubbing out inside there and you're rubbing out, he looks quite sad, bless his little heart. Maybe rub out that. So now he looks a little bit bizarre, I must say. I think that line's a little bit strange. So you could probably touch that bit there and go. That bit should go like that. So yeah, this is roughly the turtle. It's hard to tell what it's gonna look like till you color it in, cause it's all, it's all dark in here. And it's like stuff away from other stuff, if that makes any sense to anyone. So I'm, I've lost my lid. <laughs> okay, sorry, I found, I found my lid. Okay, found my lid. So I'm just looking at the picture now, and because I'm from the side, it's hard to, to tell. You could probably rub this out. Let's, let's colour it in with our pastels. Ta -da! And see how we look, see how it looks. So first I'm going to take... I'm gonna take black, which is unlike me, because normally I take another color, but the black's gonna be, sorry, I've just gotta make sure you can see. Right, the black's gonna be about here. We're gonna color all inside here, which might look strange to most people, but it's very, very dark under here. So you're gonna to touch all that. And it's gonna stop about there. So all that's gonna be dark, like really chunky. Nah, and that, sorry. Okay, okay, it makes more sense. Just looks a little bit deranged. Looks a bit strange, okay. And then we're gonna smudge away. Smudge away, smudge away. So one finger, gonna smudge it. Then you're gonna take a light green would be kind of cool. And we're just gonna color all of his fins, light green. You could go over his head if you like, just like that, just like that. Just those things will be cool to be light green. And then we're gonna smudge away. Smudge away. I can't help but sing, I don't know what's going on. Help. Okay, smudge there. It's getting like, black's gonna make it quite messy, so you gotta be super careful. I think it's this line. I am not happy with that line. It's all right, we'll make it, we'll make it better. Sorry, there's a, I've just seen a badger in the garden, which is always nice. Uh, then we want brown, but you know when you think about a, this looks like a black, but it's a brown. Think about a brick wall or crazy paving in a house, like on a patio, because it looks a bit like this. So this is all gonna be my dark brown. You could do dark green, obviously. It doesn't have to be dark brown. Um, but I'm just going to do it dark brown just to show you. Might put a bit of green in there just because living life on the edge. Okay, and then 
da 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 You get your one finger because it makes it look 3D, it's really cool. Gonna go around like that. Da da! Okay, okay. Then, he looks like he's carrying quite a bit of weight and he's quite chunky monkey. And I think it's, I keep saying, but I think it's that bit. Doesn't quite look right. <sighs> okay, let's do something. So, we're gonna maybe, maybe if yours doesn't look right, you can rub out this much. Can't rub it out, really. Yeah, I like him a bit more. And this would be a bit longer. Like, a cool thing about drawing, I find, is you can kind of make things what you want as you go along. I've just done it green there. It's going to be the shell. So all of this is the shell. Okay, that makes more sense. That makes more sense. I'm sort of liking that a bit more. I hope the light's looking okay, because it's gone a bit dark, I think, isn't it? Anyway, moving on. So we've got a dark black to go here for the eye. Ooh, yes. He looks like a teenage ninja, ninja turtle. Yes. Okay, a bit of yellow. Bit of yellow. Just here and there, a bit of yellow. And the cool thing about turtles is that they've got some really cool kind of, I don't know what you'd call them, really. I guess you could call them spots. But they're all, they look so cool when you draw them. Like a little spot. And they're normally on the top, more so. So just have a little go. Quite a few on the head, I should imagine. We could outline it. Let's not outline it in black. Let's outline it in green, dark green, um, if you want. You don't obviously have to. Oh, he looks cute and pregnant. So let's, let's call it a girl. Might be a girl one. So you're going to go over one finger. I've changed fingers. Oh, I'm a little bit crazy today. And, ah. I'm doing it quick, but obviously you're going to take your time. It's going to look awesome. Uh, I just wanted to quickly show you, actually. I'll probably get it all over my artwork. But today or a couple of days ago as well, uh, I, carved, I, carved, I painted some onions, which I thought would be kind of cool to show you. I do it on Etsy and you can buy them. They're really cool. I'm called Emmylou Painter Day. So that's my tomatoes. And I had a thing for tomatoes because I did some to more tomatoes. And then I did a cool bird. And I'm doing these paintings every single day and it's so cool because it makes you practice stuff. Although my pregnant turtle is looking a little bit ill. But he's alright, he's alright, I think he's happy. So we're gonna get a dark green, or if you want a black. Right, go over your pencil lines. Do you remember when we were going over everything? Over everything. So if you've made things bigger, or you're not happy with some things, this is the time to go over the bits you want to keep. And the bits that we had as a shadow, do you remember the, oh man, do you remember the bits that were there to make it 3D? You can colour those in. Colour Okay, legs. I don't think it's easy for me to draw from the side. <laughs> I'm getting a little bit, oh. Oh, then we could do a bit of that. Just want to smudge it in. Okay, right, one little finger. Right, this is what you do now. Just go around, draw around it as though you're taking your finger for a walk. Yes. I literally can't see. <laughs> I might have to start using the room upstairs again. Ask my mum nicely. <laughs> okay, so that's really cool. Everyone's taking their children to school now, so everyone's walking past. Okay, so. We're going to do maybe blue. You could do a cool blue background. And this takes away all the bits that you don't like. Say you've made a wobbly mistake or you're not that keen on something. You could literally, literally, go round, go round, go round. We're doing a turtle in the next project in those schools that I'm teaching. Um, so that'll be lovely. Uh, we can do a dolphin, a shark, a mermaid. So that'll be amazing. 
um, like and subscribe to my channel because every single week I'm going to draw something. Hopefully I will be where I can see next time because <laughs> my neck. Okay, there we go. Love this blue, it looks so cool. Okay, so there's my turtle. And there's certain little things I might change with it um, if I had more time. Like I'd probably get this to be like super dark because it's so shadowy there. So you could just get it to be a bit more dark and then smudge it. They're not that dark underneath, but it's just the picture. It's just the type of picture that I chose to copy. So it's like, um, oh my gosh, I thought I lost my black again. I'm like, no. Uh, just there. It's nice to blend everything. Like, if you've got time, you can take time to do loads of things. You could add other things around it. So you could do, um, is it dragonflies? You could do, uh, what's that, seahorse. You could do a seahorse, you could draw fishes, you could do everything, it'd be really, really cool. And you could do it on a big piece of paper if you buy it, if your parents buy it, it's A2 size, which is quite large, really, really cool. So there is my turtle, like and subscribe. And uh, my book's on Amazon called Fine Art Projects, so make sure you buy that. And um, I will be drawing whoever requests whatever, I'll be drawing whatever someone requests to me next week. So put your requests in and um, I'll see you soon. Bye.